Hello there, it's Jack here at Bake with Jack answering your bread making questions. Last week I spoke about why we need dough in the first place and this week I'm going to show you how I like to do it. If you missed last week's video you can find it here and my doughs are ready to go. I've mixed the wet and the dry ingredients and it's ready for the next stage which is kneading. Let's go. Okay, my dough's mixed up. It's a little bit of a mess at this point which is normal, don't worry. Pop your scraper there because you're going to need it. Pop your watch off because you might lose it, and this is how I knead the dough. I use a heel of my hand, this one here, to push your dough up across the table like this, and then lift it, put it on the top. Push, lift on the top. So all my hand is doing essentially is a great big circle, right? Push forwards, up and back, like this. It's gonna stick like crazy to the table, and this is okay. Most important thing is, don't toss flour everywhere. That's the last thing you wanna be doing. Keep it sticky like this, absolutely fine. Keep your scraper handy and just use your scraper and clean everything up every once in a while and continue. This is all we do. Easy peasy. No flour. Continue kneading your dough with this style at this pace for a good 10 to 12 minutes and the best way to measure that time is to set a timer, stick a timer on, turn it to face the other way so you're not watching it and keep going for a good 10 to 12 minutes. Now, at, a bit, at about six minutes, you're gonna start feeling the changes and that's another reason why it's such a good idea to put timer on because at six minutes, everyone's thinking, oh yeah, I'm nearly there now, I'm nearly ready when actually you've got quite a long way to go. Stick a timer on 10, 12 minutes and just wait till the time's up. Don't expect it to become all of a sudden non-stick. It may or may not, depending on the flour, depending on the water content in the recipe, there's too many factors. Don't expect it to come non-stick at the end. Just keep going right to the end, 10, 12 minutes, 15 if you need it, and um, that's it. Take it at a nice pace that you're comfortable with. You don't have to go crackers like Paul Hollywood does. You really don't, just take it at a nice pace. 10 to 12 minutes realistically is quite a long time and by the end of it, you should get some bounce in your dough, some elasticity, some strength, and it should uh, feel really nice, smooth and lovely. Although it may not be non-stick, it'll be nice and have a smoothness and a structure to it. So good luck with your kneading. I hope this video has helped you out. If you liked it, please click like. If you want to subscribe, click subscribe and you won't miss a thing. If you have a question of your own, stick it in the box underneath and I'll get around to answering it soon. And all the best with your baking and I'll see you all soon.